All right, so this is how you box up your IP20 Invertec drive. Um, so um, you do need a power disconnect. Well, you don't have to, but if you don't have a power disconnect and you unplug this drive, as long as those lights are on, the plug on the other end is still hot. So the capacitors will discharge if you touch that to a metal table or your body. So if you hit this big stop button here, all right, at this point, the plug is not hot, but you can see the capacitors are discharging. So until that display turns off, um, you can still get a jolt. I've, I've shocked myself. It, it, it's not going to kill you, but all right, under voltage. Now it's off. All right. So for that amount of time, you cannot touch the plug if you don't use a power disconnect. Here we have a power on and reverse and uh, the potentiometer. So is what the power on, these, these aren't like redundant. This powers up the VFD, right? And this turns on the VFD. So now is how this is achieved is This on off basically connects these two, one and two. Let me give you a little diagram here. It's the nice thing about this, it has a diagram right on this little cheat sheet. So, start stop, you basically have to jumper pins one and two. Now, once pins one and two, that contact is closed, it will be going forward. If you want to switch directions, you simply close the directional contact, which is pin number three. So basically, that would be the equivalent of jumping a wire from three to two while it's running. That switches directions. So how you do that, over here, um, this is the on-off. So basically, you've got one and two right here. When you flip the switch, it closes that contact. Now over here is number three. Now you'll see I have three connected to two, right? So it's what happens when this contact closes, I'm jumping three into one and two, just like it shows right there. Now, if you have, um, if you want to press a button and recall a specific RPM on the motor, then you close four into one, two, and three, and it'll go to a predetermined speed based on the advanced settings of the drive. So if you want, you know, to push a button and automatically get 1,000 RPMs, you program that in the drive and then you add that button to four and you close all of those loops. Now that is more advanced, and um, but yes, it's possible. Also, then your potentiometer here, you have your plus 10 volts, um, your common, and then the middle, I think is your zero volts. So, over here, um, uh, you'll have to look, everybody's potentiometer is going to be a little bit different, but you're going to basically run those to five, six, and seven. So, yeah. That's how you wire this up. And uh, for power, um, I'm coming in the bottom there. And then I'm going to the uh, switch. And then I'm coming out into two fuses. And from the fuses, I'm going in here to the top of the drive. Now, for a two horsepower VFD, it recommends 16 amp fuses and don't get like time delay get the fast blow fuses i like these um because they're easily replaceable from the outside but you could use whatever you want i'm using quarter by one and a quarter fuses um and so that's those are in there now a lot of times when you mount your motor um because you're not coming from this direction you're coming from the bottom um forward is reverse and reverse is forward so how you change that is instead of going one, two, three, you go one, three, two, 
or you could and you just flip any two right so you could flip the first two and do um two one three or you could flip the other two and do one three two basically flipping two of the leads will switch forward and reverse or you know if you don't mind it saying negative 3600 rpms when you're actually going forwards that's fine too anyways i'm going to try to keep this short also um the basic parameters one through 13 that's how you set this drive up you just go through p one two three four all the way to 13 and you're done 14 if you switch that to 101 you unlock like 49 more really advanced settings like ethernet ip and all that other stuff so um that's outside of what i'm going to talk about so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and uh see you next time